so hello you guys welcome to my channel um if you're new here welcome hope you stick around for a while it's got a food pantry haul today um it's 80 no it's 181 dollars and 15 cents to me i don't think i got a lot for 181 dollars i don't know i buy a lot of the um private selection and the simple truth too so that could be why <laughs> i think i left my glasses at work so i'm probably not gonna, even going to be able to tell you guys how much everything costs because i can't see the receipt that we are actually getting more snow so um yeah let's just go ahead and jump into this uh, food pantry grocery store haul not food pantry you guys so i'm kind of tired i just got off work at eight o'clock so forgive me um so anyway let's just jump into this grocery store haul before i say something else crazy all right here we go all right so it was a hundred and eighty one dollars and i got this haul yesterday um like afternoonish, so I didn't get to do the video. So some of the items are open, like the drinks. My daughter took one. These are her drinks. She drinks Dr. Pepper. This is her new fetish. My daughter never drank sodas, and I don't know. She's just on this Dr. Pepper kick now. Like I'm on the Coke kick, but I didn't get a 12 pack i only got a bottle because i'm getting ready to kick this addiction yes i am <clears throat> y'all gonna help me too please help me so i got some some of that uncle matt's yeah ultimate immune i can't even see that that stuff was pretty pricey too i think that was Oh gosh, I can't see it. But I think this juice was like four dollars and some change. I have been seeing this this juice. Um, yeah, I've been seeing this and I wanted to try it, so I got some yesterday. I'm gonna try that. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but hopefully it's good because it was like almost five dollars. But since I can't see that, just to let you know, it was $181.51. And let's start over here. I got bread. And I got buns. And it's the private selection. Um, I got some potatoes. Got me some donuts. I've been eating these donuts. Y'all, the glazed donuts? Fire from Pike, uh, Kroger. Our Kroger is called Payless, but it's Kroger. Um, they sell some fire donuts, y'all. Them glazed donuts, if you never had them, taste them. Get you some and taste them. Yeah, so that's my potatoes and um, the bread there. These, uh, simple truth, um, chicken sausage were on sale for $3.29 reduced. So I picked up three of these. I'll be freezing these. I did have this stuff in the refrigerator last night. Um, yeah, I put those in the freezer. I got chicken and I put the priciest one on top so you could see. This is all whole wings and this is the Amish. Look how much for eight wings. That was the most expensive one on top. And there you get the little, little bit cheaper. And yeah, did you see that price? It's upside down, but okay, I'm just gonna stick this in here in the sink. I moved this, I moved that um, little table that I had here. Well, it wasn't a little table, it was a big like table that I was kind of using for an island. I moved that because Y'all know my kitchen is small and it just seems it's so much better without that in here. I don't have the 
space anymore, but it's more room. Oh, and, oh, okay. Then these two here, which this one being the cheapest pack, these are the drumettes. There's the price on that one, and there's the price there. Yeah, so I got two of the drumettes too. Okay, then I got some, um, the Angus beef ribeye steaks. Y'all know I love my ribeyes. These steaks were like $11 a piece. And that was a sale. So I got us two. We may have these for um, a late breakfast to this morning. Maybe if I'm filling up to it. Then I got some Simple True turkey sausage. I got the private selection um, double smoked bacon. And I actually got this free because I had a coupon. I, I used um, Kroger has been sending me coupons um, in the mail. I guess because I shop so much, I don't know, but it's always the things that I normally purchase and, and it's always a free item in the pack. And this month for February was the, uh, ooh, excuse me, the private selection um, bacon. You could get any, <clears throat> excuse me, any variety that you wanted. So I got, well, yeah, I'm not gonna say I got this because this is the one I wanted. I got this because this is the only one they had. The stores were kind of, um, the shelves, I should have did a video because um, they were low on quite a few items yesterday. It wasn't a lot. Okay, on with to the meat items. I got some honey smoked turkey breast and I got some uncured honey ham. See, that's open. Um, I got I got my pastured uh, eggs this time. Normally, I get these, but they've been so expensive. These were like five five ninety nine. And I got my private selection. Um, I think yeah these are the sweet onions these onions are so delicious got those and then of course i said the uncle matt's ultimate aline juice can't wait to taste that probably gonna taste a little bit of that here soon i got some of the Mercedes honey french dressing i love Mercedes. I went to the grocery store last week and I got us, which ones? I got, I think I got, I got ranch and I believe I picked up a, um, oh gosh, which one was it? Anyway, it was another one. I don't remember the flavor, but I got two last week. I got some of the silk almond milk. 60, 60 calories. <laughs> and then I got the um, Simple Truth chocolate almond milk. And I would have got the silk almond milk in the chocolate, but they didn't have it. But I do, I, I like the um, Simple Truth. I like all of, I like a lot of their stuff. And speaking of Simple Truth, I got the tomato paste. Do you guys ever buy the tomato paste? the tube y'all this is a game changer right here game changer because you know when you open up your um your um tomato paste sometimes it's just too much and you don't need to use it all and so what do you do you take it you put it in a container and you store it in the refrigerator and it goes back well this way you can just squeeze out what you, what you need this is like my third time buying this. This stuff lasts forever. And I really like this. So I got one of those. And let's go over here. I got stuff over here on the stove, y'all. Because like I said, I moved that 
I moved that table. I got some um, Simple Truth. Yeah, Simple Truth uh, organic oatmeal. 100% whole grain rolled oats. It's getting low on oatmeal. I had still cut oatmeal, but like the regular kind of oatmeal like this, I was getting a little low. So I got one of these. As you know, my great grandson loves oatmeal. He put him some bananas in his oatmeal and he tears that up, my great grandson. And my great granddaughter. They love oatmeal, so I try to keep oatmeal on hand for them, and it's getting a little low, so I got that. And my daughter actually sponsored this grocery store haul. <laughs> yes, she did. Kudos to Carla, you guys. Give Carla a thumb, thumbs up. Um, I got some grits. I love grits. Slow cook the grits. A friend, well, an ex-friend of mine taught me how to slow cook grits change the whole game of how grits taste appreciate him for that um i got some classic coleslaw mix by gold because last week i bought some fish or was it monday when i went to the grocery store i don't know and i picked up a couple items i think that was monday yeah, I bought some fish, so need some coleslaw. Because you got to have coleslaw with your fish. Coleslaw with french fries and your fried fish. Or coleslaw, fried potatoes with your fish. Game changer. Got some um, jumbo biscuits. These things have gone up quite a bit, too. They were a little pricey. Can't tell you how much they were because I can't see the receipt. I got some smoke flavor provolone cheese. It's been open too. Like I opened this and I also opened that lunch meat over there. Made me a sandwich for work. Got some sharp cheddar. I got a large Kobe Jack and a large Velveeta because I got a taste for some mac and cheese, y'all. So I'm going to be making some mac and cheese here soon. I also got some Van Camp's pork and beans because I was getting low on the pork and beans in the pantry. Yeah, we've been tearing that food up in the pantry. Yeah, all my canned items are getting low because I've been using a lot of uh, my can the items that I canned from uh, my garden and you know, things that I made, like my jellies and my um, sauces and stuff like that. Getting kind of low. My corn, my uh, potatoes are still good. But yeah, I got some Ritz crackers. Uh, I got some of this Anderson's Pure Maple Syrup probably a couple of months ago. It's in the fridge. Let me see. The fridge is kind of empty too it's in, well still still pretty good but i picked up another one if you ever had this anderson's if you haven't tried it this stuff is delicious i think the first time i purchased th that was the first bottle i got that bottle it was i believe 7.99 or 8.99 well, now it's like $10.99. I was like, y'all are killing me in this grocery store today. The prices is going up. And I believe the items are getting smaller. Okay, so I got a Coca-Cola. And I got two containers of diced pimentos. I love diced pimentos in my potato salad. And y'all, I got a taste for some mac and cheese and some potato salad and some barbecue. And I got some charcoal because I think spring is coming soon. <laughs> okay, and then I got my daughter this thing of Dr. Pepper. Y'all, that's it. And this was a hundred and 81 dollars and did i say 51 cents i believe i did right there 
that's what I got. So, yeah. That's what I got. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow. I mean, like the prices are really, really. Hey, y'all make sure y'all stocking up. Been hearing about the truckers striking. My grandson is a trucker, but he's been um he's been working a lot. But like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. If you are new, I hope you consider uh, joining us here at Living It in the Neighborhood.